All right. Well, sorry, Bill. We're gonna have to leave you. What I really want to do... Oh, wait. There's the silo that we want to get to, but beforehand, I think there's a bundle of mo notes that I missed on this side. Thought so. It's easy to miss, like, a single bundle of notes on this world. Anyhow, we definitely want to get this silo because this has one of the best new moves in the game. We only need 85 notes, we have more than enough. This makes breaking so much fun! Now listen up to how it's done! Leap high in the air and then hold Z! Watch Kazooie spin and drill with her head! What? That didn't rhyme. That'll be all! Dismissed! That's what you get for not rhyming that one. That's the build drill, so... If you jump in the air and tap the Z button, you'll do this ground pound. But if you hold Z... We'll do this downward drill attack. So you've seen all of those boulders all throughout the stages. Yeah, this lets us destroy those. And so much more. So there's a boulder right here. We high jump up here. We can break it, and there's a hollow honeycomb piece underneath it. Which is pretty cool. Anyhow, let's keep exploring the level, shall we? That move will open up like 90% of this, not 90%, it'll open up like 60% of this world that is locked off from you at the start. You'd expect underground an underground level to have really dark and depressing music? No, this is really upbeat, like, old western music, which is great. So here's Mumbo's skull, but we're not gonna go there just yet. The mine entry number two. Well, we haven't seen the mine entry number one yet, so let's destroy the block, the boulder, get the globo, and let's let's take a peek inside, shall we? It's the gloomy caverns. Here's yet another TNT barrel that we are unable to detonate. So this is where it gets the music gets a little more ominous, and also the way gets darker. There's a boulder in our way. Again, build drill to get it out of the way. Bada beam, bada boom. This mine is not as well organized as the mine outside is. Another boulder. What is this way? There's a fork in the road. Let's go left first. Okay, this leads back out to Glitter Gulch Mine just for a different way. Okay. I don't want to go back out that way just yet. Now we'll take the right at the fork, and that is an eerie red light. Where is this leading? Generator Cavern. So there are a couple of rooms in the mine that are just pitch black with very eerie music and it's honestly kind of frightening. It's never really revealed what this area is or why it's pitch black or why it's so desolate or why the music is so eerie, but it gives you something to think about. What does this sign say? Warning! Unreliable generators! Use at your own risk! So... Let me tell you a little something. On my first couple of playthroughs of this, I didn't know what to do here. These generators, what? Okay, so I'll just tell you. What you're supposed to do is shoot a fire egg into the generator, and it'll start powering it up, and it'll light the way for you. I did not know you could do this because there's really nothing to indicate that you need to shoot a fire egg into it. So I just thought you had to brave the dark caverns without any light. Because you actually, if you look closely and if your TV is at the right brightness level, you can actually see the way before you, so I thought that was just what you had to do. No. Don't be a dimwit like Artie. Use the generators.
Don't be afraid to use the egg game. Um, okay. Is there a generator that I'm missing somewhere? Oh. There it is. I'm like, I thought there was a generator nearby that we have to use. Yeah, that's the one. I don't know how I missed that. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little difficult to do this without lighting up the generators, but it can <laughs> it can be taught. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> well then, that I nearly got my goose cooked right there. <laughs> That would have been bad. I don't like getting my goose cooked. I'm more of a chicken and turkey man myself. Now, how did I miss that generator? I'm um, just walking up here. I could have sworn. No. All right. Well, <laughs> that was a very near feign. We. Here we go. Yeehaw! What you doing in here all alone, man? Alright, and all that leads us to a Jiggy. Beautiful. Also, another way that you can uh, get this Jiggy without needing to bother with the generators. Here's a little trick you can do. If you do a high jump, followed by a ground pound, it'll give you enough height to grab onto this ladder right here. Boom! <laughs> You have to do the ground pound. The ground pound actually gives you a little bit of height when you start, so that's that's another clever way that you can avoid it. You can also learn a move later on in the game that can break that puzzle as well, but that's actually kind of tricky to do. Anyhow. First Jiggy of Gooder Gulch Mine. We nearly died trying to get it, but that's okay. There are no lives in this game, so death is basically just a slap on the wrist. And in some ways, it's actually useful to die in this game because... Ooh. Dying can uh, warp you back to wherever you entered the world from. I meant to do that. Let's go into this little shack here. This is the power hut. Let's go into the basement where this cable was running. Welcome to the Power Hut basement. This is the other pitch black room that is filled with eerie music. And unlike the generator camera, there are no generators here and no light sources. So this is one, another one where it's easy to assume, oh, do I have to turn up my TV's brightness? No, you don't. Uh, where did, where did I come from? Oh, here we go. Climb back up the stairs, <laughs> to run up the stairs. <laughs> What you can do is, if you climb up this ladder here, we can get to the attic of the Power Hut. And there's this big, conspicuous light bulb switch here. If we press it... It'll turn on all of these lights in the Power Hut basement, revealing the path. There's just one problem. As soon as we step off the switch... All of the lights turn off. So now you might be wondering, do I just have to memorize the path? Uh, no, you don't. Well, there are two different options. You can memorize the path, which is very tricky. You can just turn up your TV's brightness, or you can do what the game wants you to do, and learn a new move from a future world, and then come back here later and get the jiggy that way. And that's the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to try getting most of these jiggies as the way that the game intended. But I'm not going to guarantee I do that for all of them. Or at the very least, there are some that I've... There have been some jiggies in this game where I've been able to sequence break, and I, I at least want to show off both the intended solution and the sequence breaking, so... That's why I'm making copies of my files. Anyhow, back to Glitter Gulch Mine, the main area. 
So this is the last warp pad. This is at the end of the mine. Right here, it's the train station. Let's check out the train station. Well, this, here's the train station, and there's the train, but the, tr the train's seen better days. Ah! A living shovel's trying to kill me! Thankfully, we can kill the shovel before it can kill us. Oh dear, what... Oh dear, what has Thomas the Tank Engine gotten himself into today? <laughs> oh, the, this is an unfortunate episode of Thomas. What happened to this train? No service! Train derailed in Glitter Gulch Mine! I don't know who you are, but, uh, okay. Yeah, the train's out of commission. Doesn't seem like there's a lot we can do about that. Let's get out of here. That was a creepy looking dude. Let's get out of here. <laughs> How did I miss him? Oh, well, we killed him anyway. I like all. Oh, uh, yeah. I love these gemstone piles. They're really cool. There's a boulder up here. Green Jinjo! The best color. Wee. So there's a closed gate here, remember that. Because there's a switch somewhere in the mine that'll open that for us. At the top of this tunnel here. You hear that? That's the sound of a Jinjo, and there's a yellow Jinjo here. We've gotten two out of the three yellow Jinjos in the game, that's kind of cool. So yeah, this world is really fun to explore. I know that they, I know it can definitely be a confusing world to navigate uh, for first-time players, but once you get the layout of it down, it's not too bad. And it is a very fun world, especially considering like the overall theme of the world, like an underground mine. You'd probably think like, oh, that that's kind of dumb. I don't know about that, or like that sounds like it wouldn't be a lot of fun. It really is. A very unique world, and it is a lot of fun. If we climb up this uh, jewel pile here, there's a bunch of notes up here. <laughs> if you're missing 20 notes on the level, try checking at the top of that pile. Also, there's a jiggy up there, but we can't reach that waterfall without getting those springy shoes in a future level. Get out of the way. Here at the other end of the mine, there's a way we can go in here that is not marked. If we go inside, uh-oh. It's the toxic gas cave. Alright, we're gonna get in, destroy these boulders, and get out. I don't know what's causing the toxic gas, but... Ooh, get that hollow honeycomb piece. And yeah, that's draining our air supply. The Jinjo! Alright, we got two out of the six red Jinjos. Oh, there's another boulder. If we run out of air... If we run out of air, we're going to start losing health. We don't just automatically die like in Banjo-Kazooie. Instead, we just start losing our health instead of the air. But we got out in time, no biggie. Alright. Although, we didn't actually go inside the crushing shed yet. Let's check this place out. We are in the crushing shed. Alright, so there are all of these mashers in our way. While we could just time ourselves walking through those, that's very difficult and also very random. So we're going to use Wonder Wing and Vulnerability. I guess we're not using Wonder Wing Vul and Vulnerability. Okay. Well, we get to the end and we can bash into that switch over here. And that'll start this, uh, conveyor belt. And it will also s shut off these mashers here. But, it will start those rotating saw blades. So, uh, let's, let's get out of here. We do not want to get grinded up. That would be a big no-no. Also, that's not allowed in a family game. Another entrance to a mine here. 
This leads to the water storage. <laughs> you try to shoot a dynamite stick at me? How dare you? I have done nothing to deserve that harassment. I don't even know how you're doing that if you're not living, but okay. Ooh, the waterfall cavern. This is a pretty place, and hey, there's a jiggy up there. Unfortunately, we can't reach that from here. There's also this rock underwater that has Kazooie's face on it, so you know that's going to be important later on. I don't know who took the trouble of graffitiing Kazooie's face on a rock that's underwater, but I'll take it. There's also this little entrance here. Whoop. Curiouser and curiouser. Nothing we can do in that room, though. But that is a pretty room. So there's yellow water here, but it's just regular water. It's probably supposed to be oil, but we can just swim through it. And there's the trouble cleft down here. And I do believe that that is the last of the notes for Glare Gulch Mine. Yeah, we collect those really fast. I don't know if there's anything on this side. Doesn't look like it. Camera's not really behaving right now, so I can't check. I, yeah, it literally will not let me change the camera direction. Yeah, there's nothing on that side. I didn't think there was, but... It never hurts to check. Man, that dynamite's got range. If we high jump and climb up here, we can use this ladder to get to the top. We got this pool up here, and a very, very soggy Cheeto page at the bottom. So that's our second of free Cheeto pages on this level. I only need one more. Bully for us. Yeehaw! There's also this uh, tunnel on this side of the crushing shed. If we go all the way down, we are greeted with a shack that says danger and yet another TNT barrel that we can't detonate. Zutalo! We'll have to find some way to detonate all these. There's so many TNT barrels we need to get rid of. Alright. I do believe it is time to go pay Humble Wumba a visit and actually use her transformation for the level.